Okay, all right, everyone. Gonna make a little introduction before we start. I just wanted to say that I am currently going to be recording these story quests instead of actually streaming them because I usually have a tendency to stream late and I don't really finish anything. So I'll be Best recording in the, in the middle of the, the day. Sweet, sweet we taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my Always gotta interrupt me. Fair and square. Always gotta interrupt me, huh? <laughs> okay. So we are going to start with um doing the quests and recording them one at a time. The quest we will be starting with is the first Riding Shogun star uh, story quest. Right here. And I'll be recording them and posting them as soon as I finish as soon as I finish them, I can give an estimated schedule. So let's start this quest. All right. It says to go to the statue, which is like right over here. Go to the statue, which is over this way. I could have just walked. If the Tenryo Commission won't assist in dealing with the thunderstorm, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's not that we're unwilling to do our part. We just don't have any spare hands right now. I hope you can understand. Exactly. So let's keep the discussion going and see if we can find a solution. Hey, Tama! What's going on? Ah, uh, hello, you two. We were just talking about what an impact you've made in Inazuma. I forgot the first context of this because I streamed the first part of it. I don't think it was much, and also, sorry to say this, but we won't be able to find the first part on YouTube, just the part that I'm going to continue. That is kind of my bad, since I forgot to download the stream, but that's besides the point. So I'm gonna say what a coincidence. <laughs> Greetings. Thank you both again for delivering Miss Hiragi's letter that time. Ah, so they're friends of yours. I'm Master Kamaji's servant. Call me Ipe. Sounds like you're having some trouble. Well... The Tri Commission's work used to consist of gathering information for the Shogun and carrying out any duties she assigned. Okay. But recently, she announced that she wishes to spend some time in solitude and self reflection. Since she is refusing to receive any visitors, there is no one to tell us what to do. Ah. We all understand if the Shogun needs some quiet time to gather her thoughts. The only problem is, in the meantime, the thunderstorm out at sea has been getting wilder. I hear that the storm represents the Shogun's will. Yep, that's the one. And all the time it's been there, the storm has never changed in shape or size. But now, it seems to be drawing closer to Inazuma. What? So her will's changed and she wants to destroy you Inazuma now? Or is this her way of trying to get revenge on us? Are you really scared of her, Paimon? She lost to us. Paimon's not scared. <laughs> that... Uh huh. Just a little concerned. Right, Pylon. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about that. The right. reason we're concerned is that we've never known the Almighty Shogun's will to falter before. Considering Liu as God left not too long ago, it's hard not to take it as a bad sign. A lot of people now believe that the thunderstorm is getting wilder because the Almighty Shogun is having health problems. The fact that she won't see anyone right now makes us concerned that things are only going to get worse. Yeah, this seems like a valid concern. It really so does, honestly. Really start spreading, Miss Kamisato got me to come here and discuss countermeasures with the Tenryo Commission. We need to make sure we're prepared to deal with the chaos if and when it arrives. Unfortunately, the reality is that the Tenryo Commission is facing huge internal instability at the moment. The Kujo clan has lost control over the other clans. I love how the English dialogue never seems to finish with the move mouth movements. The Kujo clan is still awaiting the Shogun's trial for colluding with the Fatui and nearly destroying the whole of Inazuma. 
Ooh. Everyone knows that a change of commissioner is inevitable. It's just a matter of time before the almighty Shogun hands down her decree. Yep. To put it simply, no one will take orders from the Kujo clan anymore. But there's still work that has to be done. <sighs> if Mr. Takayuki was in better health, there might be a way through. But now... My lack of ability is to blame. I failed to uncover the truth in time. I failed to stop my father. And now, as acting head of the clan, I'm failing to quell the unrest. Don't blame Ooh. yourself, Master. You have to at least keep your chin up until your older brother returns. The Kujo clan can't cope with any more instability in its current state. Yes, you're right. Masahito has enough on his plate at the moment. It mustn't cause any more issues for him. Yep. Okay, Toma, let's revisit this discussion in a few days. Right now, I need to go visit Takatsukasa Susuma, head of the Takatsukasa clan. He's the only one. Jeez, that is such a long name. <sighs> I suppose. Well, okay, no problem. A speedy resolution to the Tenryo Commission's internal issues is in our best interest as well. I'll come with you, Master. Uh, no need. I'll handle this by myself. Oh, okay. Take care then. Come back soon. <laughs> if you think about it, both the thunderstorm situation go. and the issue that with the Tenryo Commission go. have been caused by the Shogun's decision to take go. some time off, right? No. If things go. carry on like this, people will start to panic. <laughs> Maybe we can fight her out for a while. All right, I'm gonna show you one time. You can actually do that. Alright, that works too. Don't know for sure. Not how but I want to go, but alright. Yep. Sounds like you guys know what to do. Uh, shall I leave it up to you then? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Uh, you know, everyone's what? worrying about the Shogun's condition, but if people got to see her in person, it would put their fears to rest. I'll try to help you guys. I can only do so much. <sighs> Thank you very much. I owe you one. Again. The way Paimon sees it, there's only one person who might have the chance to see the Shogun while she's isolating, right? Yeah. Let's go see Aimiko, guys. She is the only person who could probably do this. Oh, maybe this is the first quest. Oh, okay, so, uh, there was no context before. Okay, perfect. I didn't realize I didn't start it. That's fine. That's totally fine. Honestly, I haven't played in a while, so... <laughs> I'm gonna get this finished as soon as I can. So I can have a bunch more uploads for you. Also, if I make videos, two videos on the same day, I will not be updating, uploading on the same day. So yeah, one, one video per day. <laughs> Unless I forget to upload, that'd be bad. Okay, where is Yaimiko? Right, She's probably back here. Yeah, she is. There she is. There she is. Ye Yaimiko. I want to talk to you. Oh, I jumped. No! Yaimiko. I wasn't expecting to receive VIP shrine visitors during downtime. <laughs> so I suppose you're here just to visit me. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something. Oh, I saved your skin, didn't I? Surely you could at least humor me by engaging in some small talk first. But then again, I suppose your frankness is part of your charm. So tell me, what is the matter? Come on, you can do it! Come on, you can do it! Yay! And since then, the thunderstorm around Inazuma has gotten wilder! Remember that the the Tenryo Commission also needs her attention. <sighs> All right. There's little purpose in keeping anything hidden from you anyway. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled, and her temperament has changed drastically. Okay, interesting. What? Her temperament has changed. The power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. 
It also didn't help that I forgot to bring her some tricolor no, dongo and light that. novels when I went to see that her. Is not <laughs> oh, the poor thing. It, Without I desserts and books to console that. herself with, yes. she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and Aha, raving. Struck it. Oh, I could hardly bear to see her that way. Always die the you expect us to believe that a god would throw a temper tantrum right. over something like that? No. It's no. not beyond the realm of possibility. <laughs> Before you get too indignant, consider the fact that yeah, your don't, concerns don't do that. sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. It's yeah. Six eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? Uh, you're saying she's fine, right? Yeah, I don't obviously. Know the she said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing pressing that requires her attention. So there is no reason to disturb her. I have heard about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable that, as you suggest, her will has wavered somewhat. All the more reason to check on her. I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit her while she is resting. But tell me, why should this concern me? Why should I do this for you, when I already have everything one could ever want, and have seen everything one could ever wish to see? Do it for her. <laughs> I like that answer. Here is the pass permit. Show it to the Okuzumeshu at the gate, and he will let you in. Thanks, Miko! My question was in jest. But since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. Hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go see the Shogun, guys. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to land. Don't, don't jump. Great thing about this, so I can teleport right to the freaking place. I'm sorry, what? You screw you, I'll go down. The Almighty Shogun has requested solitude. Oh, no visitors allowed. Funny. Oh, we've got a pass permit from Miko. Oh, no, 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 Don't no, be no. ridiculous. Aha, Lady Guji never gives her pass permit to another oh, person. Better. Not even esteemed travelers like yourselves. But she did. Guji Yai is Please. only authorized to hold that Thank pass you. permit because yeah, of the trust me. that the Almighty Shogun places in her and her alone. Oh, yeah. hey, but it's her pass. This is authentic. Or not. Feel free to I check with know. Miko. Understood. All right. Then, as the Shogun has ordered, ah! I must not stand in your way. I don't know why I just Apologies. Me. Please proceed. Says the Shogun is resting at this time. Uh Please be especially respectful, and oh, make sure your behavior is yeah. impeccable. Well, of course. We're just gonna ask her out, that's all. Okay, not on a date, but like, ask her to like, hang out and stuff. See if she wants to try, um, cooking anything. Alright, let's go see. Look how she's right in. Don't you think she looks a little anxious? Right in, are you okay? A? Hello, are you okay? okay this one, listen. Can I talk to you without you attacking me? How did you get in? Oh. Uh. Trespassers are to be eliminated at once. Please don't. Didn't we? Also, we got in by totally legitimate means. Denied. Use of force has been forbidden. <sighs> anyway, be gone. Do not disturb my solitude. Is everything okay? That is of no concern. This yeah. is my recuperation state. Uh, what do you think of this? She's acting strange, huh? 
Has she ever been like this before? This body has no need of rest. But I am an assistant to the one within. If she wishes to rest, I must follow her will. Hi, my So this is all he's doing. Wanna know why? Why? Surely you going about your business doesn't interfere with the plane of Euthymia. She's got plenty of space in there. I know. Seems like it would be the perfect place for rest and relaxation. I do as she wishes. I can say no more than this. And I know you can Everyone's worried and wants to see you. I cannot. In my current state, even if I went out, I could do nothing. What did I tell you not to do? I am do? currently unwilling to deal with any business. I am also incapable. Wait, now we have to walk on it weirdly. Uh, what do you mean by like that? that? What? Hmm. It has been forbidden. <sighs> Please refrain from making me talk any further. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to go to the plane that you find me of. Have you malfunctioned? Oh, it's you too. It's been a while. Oh, there she is. The Shogun can't do much at the moment. Come straight in and see me. Okay, we will do. We're coming to see you. Alright, after you click this green button. First time. I, told you, it I don't see work. what there is to be so alarmed about. That is very true. It doesn't work. Broken. Are you going to get it fixed? Or... Don't worry. The Shogun's not broken. Let I've just temporarily disabled many of her functions. Currently, the Shogun is unable to handle any business and cannot appear as me. So the easiest solution was to announce that I am resting. That's what she meant by forbidden. As I said, I need to think about Inazuma's eternity. And thinking takes time. Yeah, don't touch them. But the Shogun is still running based on her old rules. I can't allow her to make any mistakes while I am working things out. That makes Can sense. Turning it off and on again? <laughs> no. She was not created to ever be turned off. Furthermore, I had even predicted at the time that I may wish to modify the Shogun's operational rules at some point in the future. However, such changes would not be conducive to eternity. You're so strict with yourself. That's why the Shogun has a robust system to safeguard against modification. It's also to protect against unforeseen circumstances. For now, while I figure out the form that eternity should take, it's more effective for me to temporarily disable some of the you puppet's just, functions, rather than attempt to modify the rules. Oh, not what I get it now. The thunderstorm's getting out of control because some of the Shogun's functions have been disabled. Uh-oh. Hmm? The thunderstorm is getting out of control? This is the first I've heard of it. Uh-oh. Huh? Okay, well, let us bring you up to speed. I had a feeling she didn't know. Well, oh, we're telling her about the storm. Mm, I see. So the thunderstorm is drawing closer. You can fix it, right? Right. It's just a minor error. This kind of thing was bound to happen. A small modification to, to the Shogun should fix it. So everyone was worked up over nothing. Don't look at me like that. I've never had to tinker with the Shogun before, and he's very good. Their faces. I mean, it, yes, that's true. That's I get it. I'm not making excuses. It's the truth. It's fine. Just as long as you can fix it is all. Any progress on your thoughts about eternity? <sighs> not much. As before, I can see the way forward. Yet there are still contradictions. But there is no urgency. To reach an ill-conceived verdict in haste, just for the sake of having reached one, right, would be a confusion good. of priorities. How about we go for a walk? Mm -hmm. If everyone sees that the children is in good health, it'll put all the speculation and rumors out there to rest. And who knows? A change of scenery might put you in a different mood and give you some fresh inspiration. You mean... 
leave the plane of Euphania? You haven't left in a long time, I'll bet. It's unnecessary, as far as I'm concerned. But since you're inviting me, a change of pace might well be nice. Hey, look, your name is up All right, there now. Then, look. I'll come out for a while. Oh, since the theme of the day is a change of pace, well, you can just call me A. Uh, I'm not a great fan of rigid titles. All right. What? But you just um, is consciousness, aren't you? Of can consciousness yeah, actually leave this place? place? I have my ways. I would never subject myself to imprisonment free. voluntarily. <laughs> Tour guides? What's a tour guide? Someone to show you around the Inazuma of today yeah, and give you yeah, tips on where to eat and how to have fun. All right, let's go, go, go. All right. Looks like we're giving her a tour. Yeah, screw that. Sounds fun. I do not feel like walking all the way there. I'm just gonna teleport. That shouldn't take that long. from how I remember it. Oh, uh, the Arlo place I started. Oh, the huh. stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's the Shogun. What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. <sighs> I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The Almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit. It seems like a bit of an overreaction, though. Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Yeah. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? That means they've never really seen her before. And make a more low profile return later? No. Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. Yeah, exactly. It's not the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. I uh, never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Yep. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? I mean, I wouldn't think so. There is no need for commerce in the plain of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? <laughs> Um, we say anyway, either because, um, to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I some don't other god doesn't anyway. have Mora either, even though he can create it out of thin air. What is this doll selling? I it's don't so pretty I've on the bridge.
Let's see what is. Oh, it's street food, so it's food. Hello. We're probably gonna buy something. Well, I am. Please don't glitch. Shogun, I uh. <laughs> Excuse me. It's all right. Relax. Oh. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. Oh, he does sell what? milk. Milk? <laughs> Sounds kind of like the odd one out. Yeah, a it bit. It might sound odd, but it is, in fact, my specialty. Oh. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. All right. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dango and milk? Huh. Dango milk I sounds like delicious, honestly. It's different than I expected. Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had used for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. Both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The almighty Shogun wants to try? <laughs> Certainly. Oh, excuse and me. He to try it too. Hmm. Nice. It's sweet. The sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. A unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Interesting. Anyway, I like it. Ooh, he likes dango milk. Right in Shogun approved. <laughs> item as delicious as this dango milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. She's gonna give him permission. When Shogun has unusual taste, please don't take it the wrong way. He, she's gonna oh, say, "Here, let's see." Well, that can be fixed. <laughs> I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. Oh wow! No, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dango milk. I. Uh. <laughs> Do you want another cup? Oh, I would l No. No need. That would be needlessly indulgent. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. Well, of course. By the way, Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Yeah, I can take you there. Let's go and have a look. I think if I'm correct, it's right across the street. Like, it, it's somewhere. Oh no, it's, it's down. It's further down. I'm close enough. Why did it switch back to you? It's right down here. 
It's gonna be a lot of dialogue. Shogun. Uh, almighty Shogun. And the what brings you to the Eye Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No. No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. Everybody's so. Apologies. I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management or publishing regulations or fire safety? Everybody's so freaked out. She, she just wants to browse your books. The Almighty Shokin wishes to read light novels? Yes. Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public. And the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the almighty Shogun's taste. Well, well how would you I know her taste? To try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? Mm, that depends. Well, you're absolutely right. It's just. It depends on the kind of. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Don't be so nervous, well, dude. Okay then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. All right. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. I I've just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um Cool. Don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay. Let's go then. Okay, let's go check this out. Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles, so why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Can you give me an Take example? One, for example, the good thing about being reincarnated <laughs> as a creature <laughs> is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. It's so long. I know, right? Is it true that hilly trolls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. <laughs> Just a narrative device. Narrative device. <laughs> it's imaginary. So it's made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Well, that's not the point. Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, yeah. I'm starting to understand Karota's reservations right about now. Too modern, I guess. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you a scoop. All right then. Yeah, maybe not the Hilly Churl one. To be relatively well read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I have high hopes though. This seems like Nico's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. Oh yeah, I'm sure they are. Leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. Yes. Yes, we will. This could be a pretty tough job. Let's mm. see what we're up against. Liwe Martial Arts Story, Daily Life Romance Story, or Reincarnation Adventure Story. Let's see. Hmm. Life made me a fighter when I just want to be a writer. Okay, so this book is Martial Arts Story. Okay, I, I, okay. Okay. Or if Mr. never joins any faction, but is okay. Um. Okay. What a strange person. Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Someone like that could easily become the top martial arts pro in the world. It's all about the journey. Determined to follow their ambition is likely to appeal to A, right? Yeah. How about the daily life romance story? The chaotic epic that is my tale of the youthful. Okay. Love stories have a very mediocre man and seven beautiful women. Oh, jeez. Um. Okay. 
that sounds good. Oh God, no! I hope the writer gives her a happy ending. Right? Yeah, it's just a novel. But please let the author have a heart, please. The plot is really gripping. But would A really understand this kind of mortal romance? I don't know. But the martial arts one seems like the best pick right now. Jogan Almighty, reborn as Raiden with an. Oh, okay! Protagonist is struck by lightning and become has become the Raiden Shogun. Okay, the protagonist is nobody. Okay, protagonist. <laughs> Protagonist. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so it's basically. Yeah, it's see, hard to. S yeah, that is. I'm really hinting at. It might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. But it doesn't paint the Shogun in it. It really doesn't. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of stuff this Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, I can get that Paimon. But I'm really hinting for the Wait, martial okay. arts one. Let's try to explain them to A. Just as I planned. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, why do I jump? The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. The martial arts story seems like the best option, honestly. Goodness. Are people in Liu really so complex these days? Even though the protagonist refuses to acknowledge his innate talents, he has a rare dedication to justice. Ooh. Ooh. Where is he now? Does he have plans to visit Inazuma? If so, I will instruct one of the commissioners to bring him to me on his arrival. I would very much like to see him. She thinks she's a real person. Uh, he's a fictional character. He doesn't exist. What about the antagonist, though? Don't you have any thoughts about their part in the story? The antagonists? You mean all the people who behave foolishly? What can I say? They're bad people, and they all got what they deserved. <laughs> at all. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Hmm, Back interesting when I thought. to isolate myself in the plane of Euphemia, there was no Yai Publishing House, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. It's human nature to the change is inevitable. That's basically it. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plain of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes, and I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out to take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Exactly. Sure it's not the same as you remember, but one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. We're just out here to have some fun. Don't worry this about it. an everyday occurrence for you. But for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. 
I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Well, why don't we take a photo? Ooh, great idea! Ed's had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay! Come with us! We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean! Alright. That is that part of the quest done. Now we gotta go find a place to take a picture. How far is it from here? Oh, it's not far at all. I'll just walk. Right here. So, uh, what are we supposed to be doing? We're what supposed to be taking a photo. Just leave the hard work to us. All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose. Yep. Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time. So it makes a great souvenir. Yep, exactly. Okay. So what exactly is striking a pose? The, the photo is a visual representation. Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Basically, I guess. The more I think about it, the more embarrassing it seems. How should I pose? Help me out here. I mean, mm. it should look good, but not too over the top. This isn't coming naturally to me at all. Try relaxed and casual. casual. Uh, how about this? This feels quite natural. Yeah, this works. Okay, let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment from. Oh, right here. Uh, take photo. Perfect! Save it, of course. It's a wrap! Take a look! Here's the photo we took of you! Wow. This is astonishing. Is it some kind of magic? It seems to be another copy of me. But she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk. It's just a record. I thought it would turn out poorly because I felt rather rigid. But it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same. And so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. That's what makes it so special! Yep! Hang on. I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. So, the one in this photo... Are you sure it isn't me? If it's not yep. me, then why does she look exactly like me? And if she is me, then... Who am I? Uh... Okay, that's way above Paimon's head. Over to you, Traveler! It's a little bit like you and the Shogun. Hey, that's right! Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. So your existence isn't singular? My existence? Hmm. Ah. I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence too. Yep, we can say it that way. So even I, who seeks eternity, I'm constantly changing my form of existence. Then, how can I ask Inazuma and everyone who lives here to remain unchanging? Inazuma will always be Inazuma. Everything I have encountered on this journey with you 
has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, but all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. Yep. It would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Correct. Both the you are correct and right. And the statue of the omnipresent god were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. <laughs> yep. Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Probably. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! Yeah, looks like that it. That means that we've done a really great job as her guide! Well, we did our best. Master Kamaji! Master Kamaji! Oh! Hmm. Why is it getting so noisy? Oh, Kamaji? what's going on? Oh, that sounded like Ipe. What could be the matter? Ipe? Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? Yep, let's find out what's going on. Yes, let's find out what's going on. What's going on? Hey, Ipe! What's the matter? Ah, uh, it's you. I... Huh? The... The almighty Shogun? You must be looking for my master, Kujo Kamaji? Hey, I am very sorry. He's not here at the moment. But, but if it pleases you, I will gladly deliver a message on your behalf. It's okay. I'm not here to see him. We just heard you calling out, so we came to see what was going on. Are you looking for your master? Yes. Master Kamaji still hasn't returned from the negotiations, and I'm starting to get worried. In fairness, he does have a habit of taking long walks and coming back late. It's perfectly possible that he just found somewhere he likes and lost track of time. But for some reason, today, I'm particularly nervous. Kujo Kamachi. A descendant of the Kujo clan, I presume. That's right. Uh, apologies. Since the head of the clan is in poor health at the moment, and Master Masahito is rarely home, Master Kamachi is currently serving as representative of the Kujo clan. I have heard that things are quite tumultuous with the Tenryo Commission at present. Does this have anything to do with Kujo Kamachi? Forgive us, almighty Shogun. The Kujo clan has failed in its duty. The Kujo clan's reputation is damaged, and its power over the Tenryo Commission is in decline. Plus you, um, <clears throat> you have yet to issue a verdict on the Commission's future. So, Master Kamaji decided to enter negotiations with the Takutsukasa clan with a view of having them take over. Surely they would be discussing something like that at their headquarters, right? Why are you looking for them here? That is a good Actually, question. they decided to hold this one elsewhere. I'm a little confused as to why, to be honest, but I didn't feel it was my place to question the higher-ups. Uh-oh. The meeting place is in the mountains near the Grand Narokami Shrine. I believe the Takatsukasa clan have some kind of base there. Takatsukasa? Another familiar name. They have been faithfully serving the Kujo clan all these years? Yes, yes, that's why Master Kamaji decided to discuss things with them. I understand they must have had a lot of ground to cover, but still, there's no way it should have gone on this long. I've searched all over the city. If he really hasn't returned yet, then... Maybe something's happened. Yeah, I thought of that possibility too. But someone of my rank can't just go venturing into Takatsukasa clan territory like that. We can go check things out for you. No, no need. I'm probably just overthinking things. Besides, if they're still at it, they'll only blame me for interrupting the negotiations. I'm only a lowly servant. But Master Kamaji and I grew up together. It'd be terrible if anything ever happened to him. I'm gonna go check on him. I'm not as smart as Master, so I can't really share his burdens. But the last thing I'd want would be for him to come to harm when I could have done something about it. Hmm. What do you think, Almighty Shogun? 
Let's go see what's happening. With me present, they are unlikely to blame you, even if we do happen to interrupt the negotiations. Yep, that's true. Besides, this has only come about because I failed to make a timely decision. This issue started with me, and I shall be the one to finish it. That's commitment right there. Thank you so much, Shogun. I'll keep looking around in the meantime, too. Let me mark out the location of the base for you. I hope everything goes smoothly. Same, and I hope I don't have to fight anybody. But we probably will, because that's usually what happens in these kind of stories. We fight people. Okay, so it said it was over here somewhere. Uh, the Kamisato estate is the closest one, so I'm just gonna pop by over there real quick. said it was around here, right? Yep. It's around here. Well, we're gonna have to take... I know it's lower than recommended, but I don't care right now. This is probably the final part of the uh, story quest. If This is usually how they usually go. did not know that. I don't know anything about Dendro. I really don't. <laughs> and we get a trial run of the Raiden Shogun, if I'm correct, Look as well. Look how well hidden this place is! Mm -hmm. I can't think of a reason anyone would want to build a structure like this deep in the mountains. Maybe to evade detection. I feel something that doesn't belong here. I sense danger. Yep. Huh? We should proceed with caution. The Kujo clan descendant may well be in trouble. Very much. Yep. Trial run. Let's go. There is no escape. Uh. 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 Don't blink. Huh? To the bear. Uh. Why are they roaming here? This is a trivial commission base. Something is not right. We yeah. must remove all those who stand in our way. Agreed. Sorry if there's no dialogue while I fight. I like to focus. Let's roll. Finally, it's showtime. To the fairy. How's this? Nice. Finally, let's get down to business. See no more. Now you shall perish. Oh, yes. This is satisfying. To the fairy. Oh, there's a chest. Didn't even notice there was a chest. Ooh. Nowhere to hide. Eternal. 
Oh damn. Okay, that's three. There is no escape. I'm gonna fight this one here. Shogun. Shogun? What are you? Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan. Explain what is going on here. Oh, we're just discussing some minor issues that have cropped up in the Tenryo Commission recently. Really, it's nothing worth the almighty Shogun worrying about. And these minor issues warranted the secluded location and the hiring of Ronin and Kairagi to keep guard? Well, uh, uh, there's been a lot of turmoil lately. It was just out of security considerations, that's all. It's suspicious. Silence. Oh, oh she's upset. Do not mess with her. Your turn. All right. I came here intending to negotiate, but it turned out all they were interested in was a written confession from the Kucho clan. Oh. A written confession? 
this. About what? A statement acknowledging every crime committed by the Kujo clan since the inception of the Vision Hunt decree, including all the recent misconduct. All factual statements, of course. Not a single one of them fabricated. Uh-oh. Rude much. I can't deny that. But it also emphasizes the Takatsukasa clan's achievements throughout the document, claiming they stood steadfast all along and fought back against the crisis. Which These is are false. The only person who fought Sasuke, back was not um that you clan. Two -faced. You're going back on everything you said. I'm just stating the facts. I'm sure the almighty Shogun can discern the truth. All the Takatsukasa clan is trying to do is make themselves look good, so they'll be first in line to replace the Kujo clan. If... Why else would you push a false narrative in the written confession that paints your clan in a good light and try to make me sign it under duress? What are you talking about? You're not under duress, we're just negotiating here. You've completely changed your tune. I believe I now understand the situation. Don't listen to his nonsense. I'm sure you're well aware of the major failings of the Kujo clan. Surely you of everyone knows. Not a single word they say can be trusted. <laughs> you are quite mistaken if you think your dispute is of any interest to me. Descendant of the Takatsukasa clan, you wish to become the new Tenryo commissioner. Do I understand this correctly? Uh, well, yes, of course. It's the eternal pursuit of everyone in the Tenryo commission to offer our lives in service of the almighty Shogun. Then the situation is not as complicated as you seem to have made it. After all, I am the one who appoints the Tenryo Commissioner. The process is quite simple. Anyone who can beat me in a duel becomes the new Commissioner. Oh, that means we're gonna Sorry, fight! Duel with the Almighty Shogun? Yes. The first Tenryo but you're going to lose. His will with the blade in his hand. That is why the title has been passed down within the Kujo clan ever since. If you want me to appoint a new clan, then naturally, there must first be a new duel. I, uh... You gonna do it? Do you not know how to wield a blade? Or do you simply doubt your abilities on account of your advanced age and declining physical condition? Bro, those are some low blows. Life, and yet you are too afraid to face my blade. Uh, well... Those are some low blows. Well, never mind. What about one of you then? Anyone who can defeat me, Takatsukasa or not, will be appointed the new Tenryo Commissioner. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> they just don't. Does a single person dare to face me? I, I will challenge you, Almighty Shogun. What? Descendant of the Kujo clan. Regrettably. Even if you win against me, it cannot atone for the wrongs committed under the Kujo name. I realize that. I don't stand a chance of winning against you anyway. I know full well that the mistakes my father made ought to spell the end of the Kujo clan's legacy in the Tenryo Commission. Even when I was executing the Vision Hunt decree, I had doubts about my father's decisions. I knew that what I was doing was wrong. But that was as far as I went. I doubted, and I ruminated. I understood the situation perfectly well, but I took no action, and I didn't save a single person. I accept the Kujo clan's decline as punishment for my deeds. I can't even say that I failed to prevent it. Because in order to fail, you have to have at least tried. Oof. To be brutally honest, for someone of your strength, there is nothing you could have done, even if you had tried. Yes. I'm too weak. My father ignores me. My elder brother can't help me. I even need Ipe to set me straight at times. It's the way it's always been. But if nothing else, and right here, right now in the Kujo clan's final hours, it is I who represent the clan, like my father before me. His duties are now mine to perform. Just as the Shogun said, a forefather of mine once showed his will with his sword. Then please, let me, Kujo Kamaji, end the story of the Kujo clan in the same way that it began. Dang. This is my last chance to do something. This is patently meaningless. But I accept. Come forward. Okay, let's fight him, guys. Wait, we're gonna fight him, right? 
Or are we just gonna watch? Oh, I think we're just gonna watch. Okay. The Kujo clan's honor was forged with courage, tempered with integrity, and shines beyond life and death. Show me whether your blade can bear the weight of your name. Ready to learn. Almighty Shogun. Let's go! <laughs> oh, damn. I don't think he's gonna drop down that easy. He's gonna keep going. Yep. Oh, he's bleeding. You got this, dude. I know you can't win, but you got this. The fact that you're trying is what matters. Still gets up. Wow. Another anomaly in eternity. Nevertheless, it appears that the Kujo honor still courses through your veins. That's good, at least. At least one of them. Kujo Kamaji is wounded. Descendants of the Takatsukasa clan. It is your responsibility to take care of him. You may not have the courage to challenge me, but I trust that you are capable of attending to a small matter such as this. Yes, of course. I apologize. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I had you heard that the be. Kujo clan is no longer fit to shoulder the work of the Tenryo Commission. The search for a successor to the role of Tenryo Commissioner is indeed a matter of great urgency. However, following this duel, I have decided to postpone the Kujo clan's punishment for the time being. In the meantime, I expect the Takatsukasa clan to continue supporting the Kujo clan as before. As you instruct, so it shall be done. We would not dare question the almighty Shogun's will. Finally, if you still think you can copy the Fatui strategy of providing me with deceptive information to produce flaws in my judgment, you will see me appear once again as I have done today. Only next time, my blade will show no mercy. Yeah, yeah, Understood. she means that. Thank you, Almighty Shogun, for don't, your wisdom don't. and mercy. <laughs> that will do. I will have the Okuzumeshu continue the investigation from here. Ooh. Come with me. Let's find a quiet place. There's something I want to talk about with you. All right. Give me chest. Even though it's probably not gonna have that much good stuff, I like the primo, the primo gens. Find the ride in Shogun. Oh, she's right there. No, 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 she's right in front of you. She's right in front of you. Close the map, close the map. Hi. Oh, when it's time to deal with the situation, you're just like the Shogun. So strict. 
You think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. Maybe that's what he was expecting. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but... He has shown me how some things remain the same, even as the world around them changes. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets, and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization too. That's good! So what's next for the Kujo clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of the Tenryo Commission? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. That makes sense. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. That the is Shogun also true. does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least I can now see the way ahead. Will you roll Inazuma directly? I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change over time. But I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Mm. This has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely! You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and the people in the city got to see a happy and healthy Shogun! All the awful rumors will disappear in no time! If you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime! Next I will bring you some souvenirs. No need. There's no place for such things in my life. Also, please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. Okay, I'm ready to head back now. My period of solitude will now continue, but it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issues in the meantime. Okay, see you next time! Okay, bye! Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out surprisingly well. Yep. And I think that will be the end of the story quest. At least we're not far. We'll tell her everything. No, it's not. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty Shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big city. Marvelous. What a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. You and the Shogun enjoy teasing each other. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. Really, she wouldn't. She winked at. So, she winked. What you're saying, it seems that she's finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take. Yeah, That's I think the so. Most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Of course. It seems like she's not gonna force everything to stay the same way anymore. To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. To put it more bluntly, there are things that 
that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. Okay, I don't understand the answers, but I'm just gonna say the human heart. <laughs> Take a guess. Anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next yep. time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. What? But she said she doesn't need company. She says that because, because she's she... a god. Yeah. It's not that gods don't need the company of others. Just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. Yeah, exactly. You don't belong to this world. Perhaps you are just the company she needs. Maybe, maybe. And that is the quest completed. Well, I'll see you all next time with, uh, oh, well, uh, Sanga no Miya Kokumi's, uh, story quest. Hope you enjoyed!